Hi guys, it's Carly, and sadly this will be the last Queen Team video that I'm recording. Lauren will be taking over for you guys, but we do have a very cool craft. Today I'm going to show you a couple of designs if you want to follow one of my designs for tote bag painting. Otherwise, you can do whatever you like and paint whatever you'd like, like I did here. Let's get into the craft. In your bag, you'll receive a tote bag, a coaster, some Q-tips, along with some paper that's not shown here. Some other things you'll need to paint your tote bag will be acrylic paint that I'm showing here, at least four colors I recommend, some water, glue sticks, scissors, and tape, and there's the paper that was not shown before. In this video, I'm going to show you three possible methods of painting your tote bag. And before whatever method you choose to do, you will have to do this step. What you're going to want to do is take two of the three sheets of paper provided. And what you're going to want to do is put them inside your tote bag, like I'm showing you now. This will make sure, well, like the paper will act as a barrier between the two sides of the tote bag so the paint doesn't bleed through to the other side. Place them relatively towards the middle and make sure they are spread out to each side of the tote bag, like I'm showing here. This is one of three methods I'm going to show you, and you can either pick whatever one you'd like to, or you can freehand anything on your tote bag. For this method, you are going to make a box out of tape over your entire tote bag if you choose to. Um, for this one, I'm just demonstrating, so I'm going to make a small square box, but make sure, if you do do it, make sure it covers the paper part, that, like the paper that's inside of your bag. So, you make your box to size, and then on the inside of your box, which I will show you in a bit, you will make a tape pattern however you would like to. You can make the tape shaped into a heart, you can make stripes, choose whatever you'd like to to make a tape pattern and then you are going to paint over in different sections, different colors. Now that I have four sections to paint in, I'm going to paint each section a different color. Uh, you can choose as many colors as you like and make as many sections as you'd like to. Then you let the paint dry and take the tape off when the paint is all dry. Now I'm going to show you my second method, which is the Q-tip method. You are going to take your third sheet of paper and draw whatever design you would like to on the paper. I'm going to do a C for Carly. And then you are going to cut it out. And then you are going to glue it onto your tote bag like I'm going to show you. I just use a plain Elmer's glue stick because it is easy to peel off your stencil once you are done using it. After your stencil is glued on, all you're going to do is take your Q-tip and dip it in the paint and just paint the dots onto your tote bag. Um, again, you can make the stencil as big as you want to cover as much space of the tote bag as you want and you can paint as many dots onto your tote bag as possible. For mine, I'm just doing a demonstration so it's very small but you can make yours as big as you want. Uh, my second piece of advice is if you do decide to do this method, 
Make sure all the dots that are closest to the stencil are very thick and close together. As I'm showing you here, that'll just make your stencil more visible once you take it off. Again, wait for your paint to dry completely before you take the stencil off. Now for this last method, I'm going to show you the scrape bar. And all you want to do is directly put some paint onto your tote bag like I'm showing you here. It's okay if it overlaps a little bit. You kind of want it to overlap for it to look good. And put as many colors as you like to in whatever direction you want to. You can go up or down like I'm showing here. And then what you're going to do is take the coaster provided for you, like I'm showing here, and then you're going to put it all the way to the edge of the paint and just scrape it across, and it leaves a very cool design. Now you can use the other side to scrape, different directions, you can use the leftover paint, do whatever you'd like to, but that's what the scrape art is like. Here are the final results for the tape art and the q-tip art, and I hope you enjoy. Have fun painting!